her out that quick? You know, I have a, I, my team is not happy. I always have a plan. So, but you know, I did the first punch, punch and I felt, say, man, I'm going to finish this strike. And I felt this in my heart, and they did. So, when you go 50 50, take a risk. So, but I felt my heart and go for it, and they got it in outcome. What is the feeling like, if you can describe it to fans, of, of knocking out somebody out so cleanly? I mean, you've done it so many times in your career. Do you still get the same feeling when you get that done, or, or has it kind of been just, uh, you know, you get used to it? You know, now it's like my last fight, I did it for almost five, five rounds, if you're five minutes with Leslie. You know, I finished in the end. And I was in the mindset to get the, the clean punch, and... Now I have the two options. I'm going to be a cyborg namaste or a real cyborg crazy. So, but I'm really happy. You know, I, I, it's nice when you finish your fight like this because like you can fight it tomorrow. I don't have any injury. So it's really nice when you train and fight and you no know, injury. Yeah. And uh, I know the build up to this was in 100% respectful. She has said some things on the media. Um, but she did say, look, I'm going to go in there and bring the fight to Cyborg. Um, is there any sense of respect for her that, that she did that? Because as we all know, like, uh, in your past fight, sometimes your, the opponents run a little bit and it's harder to engage with them and, and she clearly brought the fight tonight. Do you know, I really respect any opponent in a step fight me. Um, I really don't know, I don't know why she's talking in the media during the fight. I, I stay really far away so social media. But, you know, we sell the fight, people love to watch and thank for she be here, you know, for one reason she's there and I am very thankful for the ha fight to happen. Yeah, and I gotta ask you about Kayla Harrison. You didn't want to talk, uh, talk about her pre-fight. Uh, but you know she was featured on the screen when you were uh, on the on the ring. I, I got a chance to talk to her briefly uh, following your fight, and she thought, you know, hey, uh, all respect to Cyborg, she's an all-time great, and the biggest compliment I can give her is that I want to fight her. I want to test myself with with the very best. Um, now that you know the Sinead fight is is behind us, uh, can you talk about Kayla? Is that a fight that really interests you, and and you hope that Bellator signs her? You know, she's really want to fight me. She know where I'm at, and. Ali can negotiate for you by Scott Coker can make the fight happen. And I'm not to say, I'm not going to share my shine today. But, you know, I'm here ready and for anyone who want to fight me, for sure. Yeah, of course. And uh, just lastly, um, how, do you, how do you celebrate this one? Today I'm going to be with my family, my family here with me. I'm going to enjoy the family, stay a couple of days in Miami, and enjoy my fans. And thank you everybody in Bellator, thank you for everyone. I'm really happy and thankful, you know, for having the opportunity to fight me in event in Miami. That's it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Jim Barcelona, Miami Herald. And I noticed when you came out, you had the Miami shirt on as well, and the crowd was really cheering for you. And then when you exploded, the crowd just went nuts, and you jumped on top there to celebrate. Just what was that moment like? And being here in Miami and South Florida. You know, I went to here for uh, the Bitcoin conference a couple months before. And I really enjoy Miami, and that was from my heart. Maybe we move to Miami. People are happy. I enjoy the ocean. Very nice. So it reminds me of Brazil a lot. And I'm very happy. You know, I have a crowd. You know, I did the two last fights. No crowd, just me and the, you know, the, the, the corner. And I'm really happy. The fans now can be close a little bit more. And you can see the show closer. And I'm very thankful for the opportunity to be here in Miami. And now you said you're going to maybe spend some time in Miami. So... How much time do you think you might take off before getting back to training again? Um, I believe I, I have some missionary work. I'm going to Af Africa, and after this fight, and it may, I have one event in Brazil too. I have one event, Cyber Nation, the MMA event we're going to do in December. I'm probably going to be in Brazil in the event. My brother is the promoter, and well, I think so. So I'm back everywhere I'm at. I keep training, keep running, keep doing what I have to do. Thank you. Dan Oski from Fightful, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Uh, earlier tonight, you ha there was a, a fighter that you previously faced, Arlene Blenklau. She recently won her fight, uh, and I know you were talking about Kat Zangano, but now there's two options for you uh, in this division. Would you ra who would you rather face in this di division and when? You know, I, I never choose my opponents. I, I leave a Scott Coker choose who's going to be the next. Like, and, but who's ready to fight me? For sure, I'm ready to fight. Congratulations, Arlene Blank, for the win. And, yes. and finally, you are considered a trailblazer within the sport. Uh, do you have any advice for those who are training, who are young women, or just, or anyone in general that just wants to try to be an MMA star? I believe first you have to be an example. You know, uh, I'm the world champion, so I feel the world champion is more responsibility too, because you have to be. I may feel like I have to be the people champion's life, and 
And if you, depending where you're gonna go with the beginner, think you have to be example for all the other girls gonna come in. You know, do great job, open the door for other girls. This is I did the beginning of my career, and I'm really happy. This dumas I made grow a lot, and this is making my heart happy. And this is just to continue work hard. It's not gonna be easy, no. But you're gonna love your job. So when you love a job, you don't quit. You keep going, and the victory coming to the end. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Last question here, Stephen. Um, yeah, I just wanted to ask, um, did you know Caleb was going to be watching your fight tonight? I hear uh, people asking me before the fight, she's going to come, and uh, she lives in Florida, so I, yeah, thanks for coming, it was nice, she's coming to visit my house, I hope she doesn't like it. <laughs> did you run into her at all, at the hotel? No, uh, I run after the fight, after the fight. Why do you feel like take, talking about her in this interview right now is, is taking away from your shine? Because, okay, so if she would really want to fight me, she's going to sign the Bellator and we fight. We're going to talk about back and forth, back and forth. I don't believe she's going to get out of PFL. I think she's going to continue PFL. It's just this part of the game. If you had to choose between fighting Kat and Kayla for your next fight, who would you choose? I let Scott Cook do his job, so. All right, thank you for the time, Chris. Congrats on the win. Thank you.